There are lots of music licensing platforms for creators out there and today I want to help you out in deciding which one is the right one for you because you might actually be looking the wrong way. I'll be comparing Artlist, Epidemic Sound, Musicbed and Audio and I have used them all and they all have some good and bad things in them. This video is not sponsored by any of these platforms so all of these opinions are 100% my own but I do have affiliate links for Musicbed and Audio in the description down below. But with all of that out of the way let's jump into what I think is the most important thing which is the quality of music. All of these platforms have some excellent music on them and there are also many artists that are on multiple platforms so there's a good chance that you will find the same songs on different platforms too. So they are all good in terms of music but it does seem to me like Musicbed takes the win here because there's just an endless stream of high quality songs on there and I think the average song quality is by far the highest on Musicbed. Also it does seem to me like audio is a bit worse than the others but it doesn't mean that audio's music is bad in any way. I also think that Artlist is a tiny bit better than Epidemic Sound but in terms of music quality those two sites are very close to each other. Also there's a little bit of personal preference in here because you may like a song that I don't like but all in all I don't think you would be disappointed in the music quality on any of these four platforms. However if you want the best of the best music out there I would go for Musicbed. Now when it comes to the diversity and the amount of music I think these two things go very much hand in hand because the more songs there are the more diversity there is also going to be but this is a little bit harder to compare. For the amount of music on these platforms I just really have to rely on what I can find online so Epidemic Sound says they have over 40,000 songs. Musicbed doesn't say this at all on their website but they have told me that they have over 50,000 songs. Audio says they have thousands of songs however many or few that may be. Future Casper here editing the video and I just realized while I was taking the screen captures for this video that Artlist has changed a couple of things and they now tell you that they have about 30,000 songs on their website so that's out there. So Musicbed should be the biggest one of them all with Artlist and Epidemic Sound falling shortly behind and then audio falling way behind the competition. Now I don't think you're ever going to run out of songs to use on any of these platforms but just keep in mind that because audio is the smallest one of the bunch it also means that the diversity of music is going to be the worst one out of the four platforms. But then again the amount of songs doesn't really matter at all if you cannot find the right songs for your project so next I want to talk about searching for music on these sites. When it comes to how you search for music all of these platforms are fairly similar. You can search for different moods, genres and many other filters. You have pre-made playlists and they all have a feature that shows similar songs. On Artlist it seems like no matter what I do with the search I always end up getting a few of the same results so no matter what I search for there's always a couple of same songs and same artists on every single search that I do which is kind of annoying and then on audio if I have too many filters I may not find any songs at all because they just don't have such a big catalog of songs. On Epidemic Sound I just never can find the type of music that I want to for my project so I think the search engine on Epidemic Sound is the worst out of the bunch but that may be user error but just personally I have never liked to search for music on Epidemic Sound because of this. Lastly on music but I think the filters and the search engine just kind of work exactly the way you'd want it to so I don't know I just love to search for music on music but because everything just works as you want it to. At the time of making this video Musicbed and Audio also have a search by song feature which is an absolute killer feature so basically what it does is it lets you choose any song in the world from for example Spotify or from YouTube and paste the link of that song to their platform and then they will search for songs that are similar to that song. So maybe you have a track by your favorite artist in mind or a song from a movie soundtrack or something like that that you want your video to sound like. So you can just go on Spotify or on YouTube and get that song and then you can find similar songs to that and that is just an absolute absolute killer feature and I hope Artlist and Epidemic Sound also get this type of a feature too in the future. Once again on Musicbed I think this feature just works like absolute magic but on audio because their catalog is a bit smaller you may not end up finding a similar song to the one you pasted in. So all in all when it comes to searching for music once again Musicbed takes the win here because all of the other sites just have some kind of issues with searching for music but on Musicbed everything just works the way you'd want it to. So in terms of the music itself and finding the right song for your project, Musicbed is the clear winner out of these four platforms but there are other things to consider as well and Musicbed actually falls a bit short on these. One of the biggest benefits of these music licensing platforms is that they offer sound effects as well. So Artlist and Epidemic Sound offer sound effects in all of their plans. 
Audio only offers them in their pro plan and Musicbed sadly doesn't offer any sound effects at all. I feel like the SFX catalog on Artlist is the best one out of these, but Epidemic Sounds is only a tiny bit worse and there's definitely enough sounds to find almost anything you need on both of these sites. Audio is once again a bit limited here, but there are the basic sound effects like whooshes and ambient noises, which are usually going to be enough for most projects. Now Artlist also has a very high quality stock footage library, an AI voiceover tool and some other goodies, but they are not included in the basic music licensing plan at all. Jumping back to music, Audio and Epidemic Sound also offer stems for their music, which is a great thing to have. And Future Casper editing the video here once again, so Artlist has also now added stems to their website, so that is an excellent feature to have. Stems are basically the different parts of a song, so for example the vocals, the drums, the guitar and the keyboard could all be on their separate audio tracks, so if you want to have, for example, this song but without the drums you can just download all the stems and take the drums away and then you get your perfect song so that's a very nice feature to have as well. Epidemic Sound offers this in all of their plans but sadly Audio only offers this in their pro plan. Talking about plans and pricing there are major differences here but there are some similarities as well. For example all of the sites offer a monthly subscription for either a personal account or for business use. Basically the difference between those two is if you're creating content only for your own personal social media channels or if you're also doing client work and you use the music in the client work as well. Artlist takes the win here at $9.99 for a personal plan and a very weird $16.58 for a professional pack. They also have the Max Pack which offers the stock footage and the AI voiceover tool for $39.99 a month. Epidemic Sound is just a little bit more expensive at $10.99 a month for the personal plan and $24.99 for the commercial plan. Musicbed will get you a personal plan for $29.99 a month and a business plan for $99.99 a month, so Musicbed is clearly the most expensive one out of these, and last but definitely not least, Audio is a bit odd here as the personal plan is $14.99 a month, which would be about $180 per year, whereas the pro plan is $199 per year, which is only $20 more, and with the pro plan you get the sound effects and you get the client coverage, so with $20, more per year, I think there's no reason in going with the standard plan as the pro plan is not really much more expensive. Audio also has a massively tempting lifetime plan which also covers client work, which currently costs $4.99 bucks, but it's often discounted at $2.99. For example, Artlist Pro plan would be $200 bucks per year, Epidemics would be $300 bucks, and Music Beds would be almost $1200. So Audio's lifetime plan pays itself back very quickly compared to the professional packs of the other sites, especially if you don't really do that much client work and you don't really need to pay for the pro pack every month. Personally, I have bought Audio's lifetime plan a long, long time ago and it has been one of the best investments in all of my career. You just never have to worry about music licensing ever again if you get that and it's, in my opinion, just a no-brainer. Sadly, it doesn't include the sound effects, but sometimes Audio offers a lifetime sound effects pack as well for... It goes for about 100 bucks or 200 bucks, so that's also a very good deal when those come around. Keep in mind that all of the plans and the pricings and the features and all of that may change, so this is the situation in September 2024, but it's subject to change. I have no control, obviously, over any of this. And also keep in mind that there are often discounts on all of these sites, so keep an eye out for those too. But the big question is, which one of these music licensing platforms is the right one for you? If you only need music and you want your music to be the absolute best you can find on these sites online, I would go for a music bed, even though it is a bit pricey. If you are making a lot of content also for your clients and you also want sound effects, I think Artlist could just be the best option for you. If you aren't really creating that much content and you only do a client job every now and then, I think that the audio's lifetime plan could be the smartest move in the long run. The good thing is all of these platforms let you browse their music for free so you can try them out before you make your purchase decision. But that is all I have for today so if there are any questions that you have just drop a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. But thank you very much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one.